It's Amy Chapel from A. Marie Designs, and today I'm here to share with you a new embroidery stitch. This stitch is called a scallop stitch. It's a modification of a lazy daisy stitch, um, and I love the way it looks on this felt. Um, I feel like it gives it kind of the look of a postage stamp. It's just a fun way to make borders or add accents and details to your embroidery projects. Um, to transfer the pattern onto my felt, I have used this stick and stitch um, printable water soluble pattern transfer paper. Um, it's not required, but I found it super easy to use um, when I am trying to transfer embroidery patterns onto felt. So I am going to use this scallop stitch in order to attach this felt um, banner, this felt label onto this little fabric banner that I'm making. And to do that, I am using three strands of embroidery floss. Um, I also recommend a nice sharp pair of scissors. And sometimes, especially if you are using this water soluble um, paper to transfer, um, a thimble is sometimes handy um, because it can get a little bit stiff stitching through there. If you can tell on here, I have this solid line, which is going to be where the bases of my scallops go. And then I have some little dots printed and that is where the peak of each of my scallops will be. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is bring my thread up from the back. I have a knot on the end and I'm going to bring it up on this solid line between two of the dots. So I have it coming out right there. And then what I'm gonna do is go back down through the solid line between the next set of two dots. And I'm just sort of eyeballing it, but you get pretty good at being fairly consistent. I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna leave a little loop of floss on the top of my felt. And then I'm going to bring my needle up through right at the dot that is printed, um, that I have marked on here. So if you can see where that needle's coming up. And then you're going to pull until your floss is up and against, um, against that where it comes out. Now if you pull it tight like I did here, you end up with a peak, um, so it's more of a zigzag stitch. But I want a scallop, so if you have pulled your floss a little too tight, then what you do is just use your needle Loosen it up a little bit so that it's not such a sharp V and you have a little bit more of a rounded scallop shape. In fact, I'm gonna even do a little bit more than that because I want my scallops to be a little bit more rounded. And then to tack our scallop into place, we're going to bring our needle down just on the other side of the floss loop that we have and pull it tight and that will secure that loop in place. So our next stitch, we will come up through the end um, where our first stitch ended. I'm gonna pull my floss. We're gonna make a loop. Come down between the two dots on this solid line so that our stitches are even. Leave a loop come up right at the dot, so that will be the top of our scallop. Gently pull our floss until our scallop is the right size, and then tack it down by putting in a stitch just on the opposite side of our floss. And then we will keep doing that all the way around the felt label in order to create our scalloped border. This scallop stitch is really a fun one for decorative purposes and I hope you enjoy the scallop stitch. Happy stitching!